Good morning, East Texas. I'm Sarah Miller, and this is the TylerPaper.com Morning News Update. At least three people were killed today in a powerful earthquake that struck southern Iran in the vicinity of a key nuclear facility, according to Iranian state television. The 6.3 magnitude earthquake was centered about 91 kilometers southeast of Boucher. State-run Press TV reported that the network has spoken to officials at the Boucher nuclear plant and that there were no problems. Press TV warned that officials were indicating the number of casualties is expected to rise. Louisville's celebration following the Cardinals' 82-76 victory over the University of Michigan for the NCAA championship last night eventually required riot police and an armored carrier to quell a disturbance early Tuesday. Kentucky police used pepper spray and an armored car to calm disturbances that erupted at the tail end of celebrations. Gatherings were mostly peaceful Monday night, following the school's first title since 1986. Most of the 23 arrests were due to drunken or disorderly conduct. But things did get out of hand as the celebration continued into the morning hours, with police in riot gear arriving after the crowds refused to disperse. Residents from White House and surrounding communities are invited to the White House Area Chamber of Commerce Business Expo this afternoon. The free event is set for 5.30 to 7 p.m. in the CL Nix Gym at White House Junior High School. Chamber Secretary and Expo Chairperson Clint Ray said more than 40 booths will be showcased this year and drawings will be conducted throughout the evening, including one for a Kindle Fire. In addition to the expo, the Chamber will host a show and shine car show in the parking lot featuring antique and classic cars, among other vehicles. Speaking of White House, our focus in on Dot Me Photo Gallery of the Day is of the White House First Baptist Church Sowers of Love Quilting Group. All the photos are available for purchase. Visit Focus In on Dot Me by clicking the link in the upper right hand side of the TylerPaper.com homepage. Your CBS 19 East Texas Tuesday weather forecast as we walk throughout the day today. We're expecting variably to mostly cloudy skies with temperatures by lunchtime today, hovering in the upper 70s as we walk throughout the afternoon. Again, mostly cloudy conditions with temperatures soaring to highs today, unseasonably warm for this time of the year between about 83 and 85 degrees. As we go into the overnight hours tonight, cloudy skies. We look out to the west, storms fire near Dallas Fort Worth overnight tonight. Here in the East Texas area tonight, about a 30% chance for rain and storms as this line continues to progress into the East Texas area early tomorrow morning. We'll call for a 70 to 80% chance for rain at least the first half of the day on Wednesday as a cold front moves through. Your highs early in the day near 70 with temperatures dropping off into the lower 60s by your drive home tomorrow evening all the way down to 43 as skies clear out early Thursday morning. Highs Thursday noticeably cooler only near 62 degrees. Thanks for watching and check back at noon for our midday news update.